Right now we're at the McDonald's in the Cajon Pass, and we're right next to Interstate 15, where thousands and thousands of people pass every day between Las Vegas and Southern California. But just a few hundred feet from here, there are some monuments to roadside history and a forgotten road that dates back to the 1800s. We're now about a quarter mile south of the McDonald's and right behind me is the Pioneers Monument. This monument was built in 1917 and it's moved about five times over the years due to changing alignments of highways and freeways in the area. But this is the original 1917 monument. There was a dedication ceremony for this monument in 1917 and one of the attendees was a William Bristol. William Bristol saw this area, the National Old Trails Highway that went through here and thought, man, this is a great place to put a camp. And so in 1919, he created Camp Cajon. Camp Cajon was built on National Old Trails Highway, the country's first ocean to ocean highway. In 1926, that highway became Route 66. Due to its location on the Cajon Pass, Camp Cajon quickly became known as the Gateway to Southern California. William Bristol was a well-known local citrus grower and community leader. While he was attending the ceremony to dedicate the Pioneer's Monument, he had the idea to create Camp Cajon. He believed the spot would be an ideal place for motorists to rest after a difficult trip across the Mojave Desert. Bristol was a skilled stonemason and designed the concrete and stone facilities that would be built at Camp Cajon. He also had the idea to have sponsors supply items such as picnic tables and barbecue pits. Then the sponsors would pay to have a cast iron tablet with a promotional description placed on the item they donated. In 1938, there was a major flood in the area that destroyed Camp Cajon. Due to the cost of rebuilding and the government's desire to widen Route 66, the camp was not rebuilt. After the flood destroyed Camp Cajon, a number of picnic tables were salvaged and brought to local parks. The one here now was recently returned. Nothing else of the original camp remains, just the empty field where it was located just south of the McDonald's. Bristol ended up taking his own life in 1941. The Camp Cajon monument that is here now is a replica that was placed here by several local historical groups and was dedicated on July 4th, 2019, 100 years to the day that the original Camp Cajon opened. So this is pretty funny. Because the Camp Cajon monument is almost an exact replica of the original, there's the sign on top that says, Free Campgrounds. Now they don't actually want anyone camping here, so they have to have signs all over the place to say, No Camping. The Pioneers Monument was erected in 1917 to honor the early pioneers that created the trails through the Cajon Pass. This was not the first monument to those pioneers to be built in the Cajon Pass, however, and hopefully we can locate an earlier monument, which is located somewhere on the other side of the interstate. 100 feet or so from the monuments, you could find the Pacific Crest Trail, the hiking trail that travels from the Mexican border to Canada. This is Crowder Canyon. Originally known as Coyote Canyon, this was the route that the Old Spanish Trail and then the Mormon Road used to pass through the Cajon Pass. In 1861, the trail through the canyon was improved for wagons to get through, and this became the Cajon Pass Toll Road. It became a public road in 1882. Eventually, automobiles began to use the road, and it became part of the National Old Trails Highway, and the road through Crowder Canyon was paved in 1914. So our first sign of the old road is the remnants of the 1914 bridge. You can see the cement on both sides of the canyon. And we're just a few hundred feet from where the Interstate 15 is now. And just take a look how narrow this canyon is. And just try to imagine 1914 automobiles traveling through this narrow, windy canyon. A modern car would have trouble with this. I can't imagine cars in the early 1900s doing this. Here's a closer look at the cement from the old bridge. You can see part of it's fallen into the canyon below. 
Now further north of here, once you get out of Crowder Canyon, you can actually drive on some of the old wagon trail. And Backroads West did a video on that, which I'll link to in the description. But it's pretty cool. Um, you can still see the stuff that was dug out in 1861 when the trail was built. So every once in a while, you'll come across some of the old pavement from when they paved this road in 1914. And you can see how narrow it is now. Now I'm assuming that parts of this probably collapsed down into the canyon below at some point or the hill slid down on top of it because I can't imagine it being this narrow but you can still see the pavement here and there as it goes up through the canyon and you can just see how narrow and windy this is I mean I can just imagine you're driving down this canyon in a 19 early 1900s vehicle and another vehicle is coming up the other way there, there's no way there was room for <laughs> two cars to go through here um, but this is pretty crazy and to think that it was in use until the 1920s is pretty amazing as well you see pavement all through here Just looking at how this trail winds its way around the side of the canyon here. If you were driving an automobile in the early 1900s, I mean, you were a true adventurer. This just looks very harrowing. Here's a look back towards Interstate 15 and the exit to Crowder Canyon. So you could just imagine when people got through Crowder Canyon and they came across Camp Cajon, it was a welcome sight. Just look how narrow this section of the canyon is. Something like this may have worked for wagons, but faster moving cars probably really had a problem with this. Now that we've taken a look at Crowder Canyon and a highway that predates Route 66 by over 60 years, let's try to find the original Pioneers Monument that was placed here by the pioneers that came through this area in 1849. Now we're on the Pacific Crest Trail and we're actually gonna head under Interstate 15 to get to the other side and see if we could find that Pioneers Monument. We've made it to the other side of the interstate. Now we're gonna head under the train tracks. Let's just hope it's not the wrong side of the tracks. So right behind me is the original Pioneers Monument. The one we visited earlier was erected in 1917. That was the one that inspired Bristol to create Camp Cajon. This one was erected in 1912. And I'll show some old pictures of this one. And you can see it looks pretty much like it did, you know, 110 years ago. But here is the original Pioneers Monument erected in 1912. Here's a closer look at the monument. And here's a photo from the dedication ceremony for it. So here's a look at the plaque. It says Sheldon Stoddard, Sidney Waite came over this trail 1849, helped erect this monument 1912. Here's the other side. Santa Fe and Salt Lake Trail. Erected by Pioneer Society of San Bernardino, 1912. So that's our look at the monuments and forgotten roads of the Cajon Pass. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.